This video tutorial covers ProStart firmware version 31 and the new user configuration menus. This firmware is only available on the new ProStart and firmware version 31 is new September 2021. Firmware 31 is a complete overhaul of the look of the configuration menus. We added scrolling text to help the user better understand the settings and options. We also added a few commonly requested features. Let's turn the Pro Start on and go through the configuration menus. Press and hold reset to enter the user configuration menus. We're in the user configuration menus now. The first thing you'll notice is the text scrolling across the bottom. This first menu is declination and declination is scrolling at the bottom. So this is this is the new scrolling text, the new label for the for the config menus. And declination is set using the line set buttons, the square button uh, increments in up in degrees, the triangle button goes down in one degree increments, and you enter your local magnetic declination using the line set buttons, and then press gun to save your selection. The next menu here is bow offset. At the top, you see B offset scrolling. Bow offset is set in half meter increments. Use the line set buttons again to, to enter this information. Square button goes up. Triangle button goes down in half meter increments. And then once you have your desired setting here, press gun to save and move on to the next menu. This menu here is direction output. It changes the direction output in race mode. You have two options, heading, or magnetic compass, or the direction you're pointing. And then your other option is course over ground, or cog, and that's the direction you're moving. That's GPS based. And you toggle between heading and cog using the line set buttons, and you can save your selection using the gun button, and that'll take you to the next menu. This configuration menu is distance to line on or off. It allows you to toggle distance to line on and off. You do that using the line set buttons and it is for users who sail in classes with super restrictive class rules that, uh, that don't allow pinging the line. Uh, check with your technical committee first before using the Pro Start in one of those classes. So you turn the lines the distance to line on and off using the line set buttons. You can do that here. And then once you have your desired uh, setting there on or on or off, press the gun button to save the selection and move on to the next menu. This menu is distance precision. You see that scrolling at the top and the new Pro Start has a super fast GPS and it allows us to give super precise distance to line in tenths of meters. Some users found this to be uh, too fast or too much information coming at them at once and they preferred the, uh, the way the old Pro Start or the Pro Start Classic showed that information in whole meters. So now you have the option uh, to change distance to line uh, precision from tenths of meters to whole meters, and you do that using the line set buttons. Um, press either button to change. This is whole meters. This is tenths of meters. So distance to line precision is a new configuration menu. Once you have your desired selection, press gun to save and go to the next next menu. This menu is heading offset. You can see that scrolling at the bottom here. If your Pro Start is mounted uh, out of alignment with the center line of your boat, 
you can dial in the offset to have the have the ProStar accurately reflect your uh, your heading, and you can dial in the offset using the line set buttons uh, in one degree increments. The square button goes up or rotates clockwise. The triangle button goes down or rotates counterclockwise. And once you have your desired selection here, press gun to save and go to the next menu. This menu is the bar graph output. You see the bar graph scrolling back and forth. Uh, the bottom line here is your selected output. The factory default is heal. The most commonly requested feature on the new ProStart was shift tracking on the bar graph uh, like the ProStart Classic had. This, configura this configuration menu gives the user the option to select heal or shift tracking and you can toggle between shift tracking and heel using the line set buttons and you see shift scrolling here you press the line press a line set button it changes it to heel and we will uh we'll cover the shift tracking in another video um, but this is how you select heel or shift on the bar graph in race mode. Once you have your desired bar graph output selected, uh, press gun to save and move to the next menu. The final menu here is damping level. Up top you see D level scrolling. Damping level only applies to the compass. There are three options, 0, 1, and 2. You can go up using the square button and down using the triangle button. D0, damping level zero, is off or no damping. Um, one is low damping and high damping is two. So those are your damping level options. It only affects the compass and nothing else. Um, once you have your desired damping level, press gun to save the selection and exit the configuration menus and it returns to normal operation here. Thanks very much for watching.